Hey, it's Running Man. It's uh, early morning. I'm out by the pool. Beautiful day. Chinese New Year's. And uh, I'm out by the pool relaxing because I don't have a job. <laughs> and I haven't had a job for, I don't know if I went, pretty much never really had a job. So I always want to figure out a way to uh, play the game of life as smart as I can, you know. And not to have to fall into a lot of stuff that uh, other people fall into. Um, and uh, so today I want to talk about uh, people who are asking and saying comments and really nice comments. Thank you so much uh, for the comments. I really, man, I, I eat them up. I read them all. I definitely read them all and, uh, and uh, think about them too. Like uh, how I can uh, add to the discussion. And I know people are adding to the discussion in the comments, right? So it's fantastic. So like how how to i guess i guess one of the things is like when you when you find something out in life right that's not good right or something that you don't like right so maybe you find out that women are a certain way and you find out that uh, they didn't have your you know the, the girlfriend or wife you had you know she didn't have uh well at least in the end of the race for at the very least she didn't have your your best interest in mind and maybe she was downright spiteful and maybe stole things, maybe you ruined your life, um, maybe did a lot of things uh, that that were that were, you know, evil, right? And I think what what do you do with that? You know, like what do you do when you start reading about women? Like, what do you do? What what where where, where where is there to go with that? You know, it's like there's one thing is to not know what's going on, right? And you're just like, like uh, I don't know, uh, maybe like a kid who believes in Santa Claus, right? You're like, oh, Santa Claus, right? He brings me presents every, uh, you know, Christmas, right? Uh, tooth fairy, lost a tooth, right? You're going to put it under the, under the pillow. I remember that. I don't remember believing in Santa Claus so much, but I definitely believe, I remember believing in the, in the tooth fairy, you know? And uh, I put uh, my tooth under the pillow. And woke up in the morning and there was a coin there. You know, I thought, wow, that's, you know, that's amazing that they knew, you know, I lost my tooth tonight, you know. But, uh, you know, no. Uh, so when you find out that, hey, that's your mom. And, uh, you know, as you get older, you find out even more stuff about your parents. Like uh, my parents, uh, when I was in college and they were paying for my school, uh, they only had $300 in the bank on most days. Uh, which is amazing because we lived in an expensive area and uh, they were they were quite generous uh, with our education and i had no idea none of us had an idea they didn't have any money they were like barely getting by every month stressing their butts off to get us to school and uh, i had no idea so as you get older you find out more stuff about life but when you find stuff out like what do you do with it how do you handle it like is it is it a dead end in itself like if if if, if i say like like a lot of people when they find out about women um about the way women think about men and relationships and marriage and society and how it's all the way it is you know uh they think well damn it you know it sucks you know these guys are these guys they don't care about me they're these assholes bitches you know trying to take my shit you know uh and and they're trying to trap me and you know all this stuff and and uh and then it, where, where do you go with that like you know, like what, what's the next step, you know? And I think part of the reason why I, I can look at it from a different perspective is I, I literally went through this in 1992 and I'm not, this is not, I'm not messing around. This is like 1992. I didn't know it was a new book actually, but I got the predatory female. I got the manipulated man and I had my mentor, Don, which I talked about. And we had a group of guys and we really got into it, man. We really got into it. We talked about the predatory female. We talked about the manipulated man every day for hours. Like, cause we were, we were all over in Japan. We had a lot of free time and we would, we would just talk about it. We would meet, we would talk about it on the weekends. We'd spend the night at each other's houses. We'd be, you know, on the rampage, you know, uh, you know, and, and, um, there's just a limit to how far that can go. You know, there's, a, there's like, uh, I think there's no limit to how much you can learn about women. And I think the subtle distinctions are important. So I, I think that, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's good to keep learning. Um, not saying that, you know, and I, but, but once you're on the road, you know, once you can, you know, like people say, take the red pill, right? Once you, once you, and I don't like, by the way, I don't like that red pill stuff because 
I don't think it's that simple. I think it's 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 so deep to figure out the way women and men are and way women are towards men and all the different faces they have, uh, the faces they have based on how you are at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're a very cool guy uh, and you own uh, a certain business or club and you're in there, you're a certain guy, she reacts to you a certain way. Then you go outside and you're in a new environment where you don't own the club, where you don't have any friends and she reacts to you totally differently. So even the same girl reacts to you very differently depending on wh the where you're at with your confidence and your situation, right? So it's really complicated. So I, I appreciate endless learning. And even if it's, even if it's you know, so-called negative information, you're learning stuff that maybe isn't good, like uh, maybe isn't uh, helping you. But the, 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 I mean, what am I saying? Like the, the girls are trying to manipulate you or something, get something from you, right? You're learning this stuff, right? But it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to bring you down. It doesn't have to make you uh, run away. It doesn't have to make you, you know, there's so many different ways to react to information. That's what I want to say in this podcast. I, I respect all the guys that made making MGTOW podcasts. I mean, and, and videos. I, I, you know, you guys and, and, and girls too, you guys are awesome. And I really enjoy you listening to your stuff. But that doesn't mean that there's any one way that's the only way. And so, you know, I, I um, the way I look at it now is... Wow, there's so many ways. I can't put it all in one podcast. But let me I just think of things off the top of my head. I, I saw one podcast, uh, and uh, it was the um, Kiwi MGTOW, I think. And he was, no, 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 it wasn't him. It was another guy. And he, and he had a trailer, and he, and he had sold his house after he got divorced. Uh, and he had his sons living with him. And, uh, you know, he had a nice, simple trailer, nice, simple life. He had good, good wine that he wanted. He had a good life. You know, you could tell. He had a good life. You know, he had cash flow positive he had his sons with him uh, he was proud of himself and he and he was actually living the way he actually wanted to live because most most guys uh in my experience truly don't really care about material items that much when all is said and done uh, we just don't care that much I, I personally don't care that much i've had a lot of material items and i've had and i've had no material items and it's like i don't know I, I, it doesn't really matter you know i our family was pretty poor when we grew up. We grew up, you know, we were in a trailer in Phoenix and uh, moved out to California and things got better from then. But uh, I was very happy in that trailer. I was very, very happy and uh, as a kid. And uh, even today, I remember that whenever I have hard times, you know, is that, you know, uh, I can be happy wherever I am. So the goods on the outside, they're interesting. They're good. I want to have them. I'm very pro, you know, I'm very, very pro earning money having girlfriends, uh, living in cool places where there's a lot of people around, where there's a lot of things to do, a lot of, you know, like action, right? You know, I had a friend, uh, Richard, he was an awesome guy. He was, he was a big top, big time in, in Japan. And uh, one of my, one of my buddies back, uh, back in 90, he had like from 91 until he passed away, which was, I don't know what year that was, but, uh, somewhere around 2000, but uh, either way, he was a great guy. And, and he used to get in a taxi and he would say to the taxi driver, wherever he got, he traveled a lot, right? He was a model. He would get into the taxi and goes and just say, take me to the action, you know? And then the taxi driver always knew exactly what he was talking about. Like he didn't need to know the name. He just said, take me to the action, you know? And, uh, you know, that's, I, that, that kind of feeling is what I have, that feeling. I want to go to where it's happening. I, you know, so, so for me, so for me, I don't want to have a nice trailer that, I've, that is paid off, that's quiet, you know, safe, in, you, know, in a, in a, in a, you know what I mean? Like, that for me is not what I want. What I want to be is in the middle of the most raging city with hot girls everywhere, and I want to I wanna have a very, uh, a lifestyle that's very inexpensive in the middle of all that action. So when I walk out the door, there's tons to do, there's tons to see, there's people everywhere, there's girls to meet, there's girls just walking around, you know, like, to, you know, like just, it, there's just clubs, there's, you know, festivals, there's music in the park, there's, um, you know, a school nearby, a couple of universities with girls running around with their books all over the place, you know, and, and, and that kind of thing. I, I like that kind of environment rather than, and, and, but I see, I can live a very austere, simple life. Almost like, this is the way I think about it. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I think of myself, I don't know if this helps you, the concept, but I'm like the Unabomber 
who lives in the middle of like London or Tokyo or, you know, it just in the middle of like all the parties and craziness, you know, and, and that's the way I think about myself. I, I, I just really like the, I remember that you, I read about the Unabomber when he, he got caught, right? He lived in this trailer and he was the mountain man. He didn't care what people thought. He didn't shave his beard. You know, I have that. I, 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 I don't, I don't bathe that way. And I don't, uh, obviously my, I like to wear cool clothes and I, I really think, I think fashion and being in the, in the stream of life is super important, but his mindset of just like going into the, like the, going into, uh, the mountains, you know, and just not giving a fuck, you know, what people think, you know, that I have that same exact mindset, right? Uh, as many guys who live like that, right? Uh, and, you know, obviously with no bombs, <laughs> but, you know, you know, uh, you know, we're all complicated creatures, right? So uh, that's, that's the way that's the way I like to do it. So if, if you are watching MGTOW videos, and you're thinking, you know, you're thinking, hey, you know, uh, I got to get uh, you know, something paid off a trailer and live in the middle of nowhere or, you know, inexpensive city, you know, um, you know, I say like, really think about that. Like really think of it. Can I tell you something? When, when, when you don't live in the action, here's what I, here's, here's, here's why I like living the action. Cause when you live in the action, like you just meet girls all the time. Like when you just go outside, right? I went outside, I was walking down with my friend, uh, a couple nights ago, we just went there again last night, but and I walked up to this little, there's a little bar. It's kind of like a, what do you call it? It's like, there's all these tall new buildings where I live, right? Like, like brand new fancy buildings. And then there's like these kind of ghetto-y areas where like the locals live, right? And, and they're, they're, they're pretty ghetto-y, you know? And uh, so I was walking through this area and there was a, like a, a makeshift bar, you know, like a, a lady with a cart and then she was serving booze and uh, some kind of noodles. And uh, so I walked by and then some, some girl was actually pretty hot. She was like, she was like, hey, you know, something. And she's like right up to me. She, she, she actually uh, picked me up, right? She's, she's like uh, opening me, right? And I was like, and then she's like, you know, pretty hot, like nice, nice, uh, nice body, everything. And she was like totally down to go, you know. I, I don't like to, she was drinking and I like kind of girls that are kind of good girls in a way. You know, like they're not like drunk and smoking all the time, you know, personally. So I didn't uh, take her home, but you know, I like to be in an area where that kind of happens to me, right? You know, like, I think you're, you're smarter, you're better off to be in an area uh, where there's a lot of action, where stuff just kind of like happens, you know? So maybe you're not in the best mood some days, you're not in the, you're not on top of your game every day, but it, it's still going to like fall into your lap or there's going to be some kind of, um, your friends are going to be around and they're going to take you around. They're going to be taken, you know, to places where there's tons of people and they'll have girls that come with them, you know? And, and, and that kind of environment is very stimulating too. It's very stimulating to the mind, uh, either for learning languages or, uh, you know, for starting businesses. You know, I walk down the street and I see all kinds of businesses all the time. When I, when I, when I go to a, like a, a meeting around here, uh, I go to like, I like Bitcoin, right? So when I go to a Bitcoin meetup, I'll, I'll see uh, tons of people with different, you know, either some kind of Bitcoin startup or, uh, Bitcoin hedge fund or Bitcoin um, uh, starting exchange, you know, uh, or, uh, you know, just fintech, some fintech company or, uh, you know, I like that. I really like that. I think I think that when I'm in a place where there's action and there's people and there's like it, human intelligence, there's a lot of human intelligence right around me and, and, and culture that that really stimulates me to improve myself. And if I start to retreat from life, right. And that, that's what I see the danger for some young guys who see seeing these MGTOW videos is believe me, I'm super hardcore. Okay. I have not even gone hardcore in these videos yet. I mean, I'm a fucking drill sergeant when this stuff, like when it comes to the MGTOW like principles, I, I, this is like, it's built into my DNA, man, you know, but at the same time, like if I use that information to isolate myself, uh, you know, every step away from people and every step away from the action, right? And away from intelligent people and people doing cool things uh, that every step away, it takes me a step out of life, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I, um, I just, I, sometimes I need metaphors or I need pictures in my mind to kind of picture, you know, I remember when I was in high school, I went with some of my friends. We went to, uh, I was a church group actually we went to uh, Yosemite and, uh, we went to this, um, to, to, to Mirror Lake. I think it's called Mirror Lake. Right, right below the, the big, uh, the, the, you know, the famous uh, half dome, right? 
And we went down there and I was sitting there. I touched the water with my toe and it was freezing cold. Like it's, it came right off the dripping ice basically, right? And I was freezing cold. So I was just sitting there and I was just sitting on the side and I'm watching. I got my clothes on. I got my sweater on, you know, jeans, you know, boots, you know. And, uh, and then somebody uh, just jumped in, right? They fucking just took off their clothes and jumped in. And I was like, whoa, you know, because we didn't have bathing suits or anything, right? And he just jumped in his underwear. And I was like, and then there, and, and I was like, oh, geez, you know, there, there he goes in there, you know? And my first thought was, oh, what an idiot or something like that, you know? Because I was immediately jealous of that guy. Trust me, I was immediately like, because he was fucking having a good time there, right? I was just kind of sitting on the side, like watching things happen, right? So then I, I kind of edged closer to the water, you know? And then somebody else starts getting in, you know? Somebody else starts getting in, right? And, and then eventually I just, uh, I just, uh, said, I'm going to get in. Right. And so I just took off my clothes and I jumped in that river. And once I got in there, it was freezing cold, you know, it was a freezing cold river and, or lake. And, uh, I, once I got in there, I just, uh, started moving around real fast, you know, and it had, I was just swimming and laughing and splashing. And I mean, this was just cold, cold water, like the fins. The Finns do after they get out of the sauna, and and I never th- forgot that. I never forgot that example because, and then I looked up on the on the side of the lake, and sure enough, there was a ton of people that I was with who didn't get in the water. And I always want to be that guy who gets in the water. You know, I always want to be that one who who jumps into le- life. I want to feel life. I want to experience life. I want to smell life. I want to hear life. You know what I mean? I want it to, to to rub against my skin. I want. You know what I mean? Like I want life i want more and more and more experiences and life and uh you know when i figure out that um i'm in a dangerous situation okay like say i'm in a a dangerous city that does slow down it makes me a little careful about doing things like i better not walk down that street or you know go on that elevated walkway at night you know and so i do have to be a little bit careful if i'm in an area that's that's risky and i think when you learn principles about women you do think well, okay, I don't want to, you know, I want to make sure I don't get trapped by a woman who hates me. It doesn't like me. And just because I'm too stupid, it let, allow myself to be trapped uh, by one woman when actually I can date a lot of women or I have so many options and there's so many types of women out there, right? The only way I can meet all those women is by, uh, you know, to meet other people, you know, like I think a lot of people, when they think, when they figure out like women, that's it. Isolation time, right? You know, that's, you know, time to be isolated, <laughs> hang out with the guys, complain about the women. And I, I think that's good. I mean, I think that's, uh, again, I said, I think that's where you're going to learn other guys' experiences, honest experiences, which I, what I love about the MGTOW community. And uh, you're going to learn a ton from those guys. But I think at the same time, you have to really look at yourself and say, uh, where is this leading? Wh- wh- what else do I want? What, what, what is going to get me to the next level? You know, so it's almost like if you had a job, right, and it sucked, right? You know, you realize it just sucks. You're going to work, you know, you don't want to go to work this early in the morning. You know, the boss is looking at you weird. You know, you don't like that. You know, you're having to like say things you don't want to say. You know, you're, you know, I remember I was selling things I didn't want to sell back in college, you know, and, and it was just garbage I was selling, you know, and I hated it, you know. Um, I, I actually, the job was very good, an interesting job. I learned a lot there, but. Um, there was there was distasteful things about many jobs I had, and uh, like when I was a kid, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, I hate the, the job boss. I made pizzas when I was 15, you know, and um, you know, you know, the thing is, is that um, I can complain about that job all I want. I can complain about that boss, but then I got to the point where I said, I'm gonna start my own company. You know what I mean? Like even if it's a fucking blog. You know what I mean? That, that, you know, like nowadays, you know, like start a blog, start a YouTube channel, start something to start getting an audience, you know, and sharing something so that we, you can sell a product or you can do something right. He doesn't I don't mean get start a company like, you know, you compete with Goldman Sachs or, you know, start a new fucking hotel chain or something, you know, uh, make, you know, buy a gold mine. You know, I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about there's many ways to start your own business, start your own thing these days. It was a lot harder when I did it. And I had a lot of fucking miserable, fucking freezing cold nights when I couldn't afford heat and I was scared out of my mind uh, starting businesses uh, in my life. Uh, but it's easier now. It's much easier now that the tools are really, really available and they're there for you. So you can complain about a job, 
Okay, so that's what I see a lot of people doing with Minkta. They're saying, like, this situation sucks. They don't like me. They're not out for my best interest. Blah, blah, blah. All true. Okay? All fucking true. But how do you get out of that? What's the next step? Like, do you get another job? Right? Do you get into another deep relationship that's going to be, you know, with somebody? How do you find that next person that's going to be a better quality? Or, or, or like, I like to have several girlfriends. I like to have a few regulars and then a couple like circling in and out, right? How do you do? How do you do that, right? How do you? How do you? Um, and I also have like to have tons of friends, which I consider more important than girlfriends. And I want to have spend time with them, number one, and live in a cool city, right? So how do I solve all these problems? It's it's not with the same thinking that got me into the first problem, and it's certainly not in the same thinking where I'm angry about having gotten into the first problem that was my own fault. You know, I mean, it's, you know, obviously forgivable, you know, because we learn these things over time and all that. But in retrospect, you you know, we all had something to do with every situation we got into. Right. Other guys knew more. They didn't get in that situation. Right. They would have seen the warning signs earlier. So it's about learning. You know, it's 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 about learning about women and also about learning about ourselves. And and the thinking that got us into the first thing doesn't get us to the next. Right. So starting a company being my own boss, you know, being your own boss, doing your own thing, um, you know, branching out. Uh, or, or if you, if you like working for companies, you know, like I, there's certain kind of companies I, I, I would totally work for, like, like startups, it's Silicon Valley funded startups. So those are cool. Those are, I did, I've, I've worked on a startup in Silicon Valley. It was great. You know, it was exciting. Uh, it was a job in a way, but it was a very weird job. And uh, so, you know, that kind of stuff is a good experience, you know. So uh, how do I have a very full life in every sense of the word i you know i have to improve myself i have to always improve myself and you don't get to the top by being a miserable you know person right so it's it's like i have to learn the lesson santa claus isn't real tooth fairy was my mom you know and all the things that girls did you know like which if i think about them too much they can get me pissed off uh but i put myself in that position and even more importantly than that, what am I going to do today? What am I going to do today? It's a nice day. Am I going to go into the past? Am I going to think about things that made me, you know, no, I want to, I want to take my knowledge of yesterday and that's like running in the background, right? It's running in the background of my brain and I'm going to say, and, 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 and like mistakes I made, things that happened to me, uh, situations I got into, I didn't want to get into, uh, you know, things to look out for, things like that, right? All those things into my day, they're all running in the background. And then I'm thinking like, what do I want to do? So I'm I'm always trying to look with a very fucking fresh eye every day, Uh, especially when I'm in the midst of change, because I want to say like, you know, like often, uh, you know, one example for me is I had uh, brick and mortar businesses uh, before. Uh, You know, I always had brick and mortar businesses where I'd start something that's physical, right? You know, either it's a store or shop or, product or you know something physical right and also and then services where I worked in an office a physical office I had to go there every day right I had to call people I had to go meet them you know I, I did I had those kind of business but but as I as I had a very bad situation and lost uh, my main business I instead of retreating into myself like oh man this uh, you know girl in this situation I actually I I, <clears throat> I actually looked at it another way no shit I looked at it, I said okay I'm older now. Technology has changed a lot. You know, who in my life do I uh, respect? And, you know, not, not, not like who is the most successful person. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not like Richard Branson. Okay, I got to be like Richard Branson, you know. No, I, I, I'm, in a sense, I'm humble. I know, I know who I am. So I'm like, who do I respect? Kind of like, kind of like the guy who lives in the mountains. I respect that. Right. That thinking I respect, but job wise, you know, work wise. And I thought to myself, you know, I, I, I tried the high powered Silicon Valley thing and it didn't work out. And um, and I thought, you know what? This is not really what I want. What I really want is something that I can do on my own, something that I can be anywhere. OK, in the middle of the action, but I'm not dependent on other people and no one can steal my business. So I can I can you know what I'm saying? So it's like that was kind of like. And I started doing online stuff and I made my first uh, digital product and I sold my first digital product. And that was awesome for me.
because I could create the content myself because until then I had always created content with other people. I was always dependent on other people and, uh, you know, for, 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 for whatever. And uh, now I can do it. I can do it myself uh, at the same time is I have tons of friends. Uh, you know, we, we often hang out together, sleep in the same apartments. Everybody's creating stuff. You know, they're doing stuff. I'm doing stuff. Um, you know, and, and so we, we do, we do have, uh, a lot of collaboration in that sense, and especially collaboration of ideas. We have a lot of collaboration of ideas, um, and creativity, uh, but I'm not dependent on them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to say, okay, let's have another meeting. You know, I hate meetings. So let's have another meeting and another meeting and another meeting. No, because it's my thing. Right. So that's what I decided. I'm not saying that's the perfect way to go. I'm just saying that that's what I decided for my personality was the best thing is to have that kind of a business and live in an area with tons of hot young girls and uh, that I can live very reasonably. So that's kind of like my perfect, right now that's like my perfect situation. And that might change, that very well could change, you know. And it's gonna, it's gonna change if it does change, it's either gonna be based on some revelation I had, like a realization about myself or realization by the attractiveness of the jobs or, you know, realization of the unattractiveness of what I'm doing. Uh, or a change in technology. So many things could change, right? I'm totally open to seeing, and, I, and I've got my eyes open, looking for better situations all the time, right? How I can improve myself, what I can do next, what I want to do next, and what I'm motivated to do next. Because I know for me, if I'm not motivated to do something, I can't do it. Like, I literally can't do it. You know, my room looks like a fucking... Uh, I mean, tornado went through it and I don't care. I do, I'm not going to clean it. I don't care. Like as long as there's no rats in there, that's all I care about. You know, like personally, other people, they think that they need a really clean room. Otherwise they're disorganized and they're not good with time management, whatever they think. I just, to me, I don't even care. Like I know myself. I'm like an artist in a way I could care less or the, or the, uh, the professor, you know, with the Jack, like I just, some things other people care about. I just don't care. Right. So again, that's finding about myself and finding about yourself. I really recommend finding out about yourself. Study people, study, listen, and but study yourself just as much. You're always just like, who the hell am I? Like, what the hell do I like to do? You know what I mean? What really makes me happy? You know, because at this point in my life, whatever makes me happy, I'm going to do. You know, I, it doesn't matter what the hell it was. You know, I'm going to go that direction. Uh, and um, we'll talk about uh, some other stuff like that. So, so that's, 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 a, that's a little kind of intro, how I stay positive despite knowing a lot of negative things. And the last thing I'll say is like, is like women are, they, they can be quite lovely. You know, I mean, if you don't want women in your life at all, you know, I, I think you're really, uh, as, as a MGTOW, missing something, you know, because I think, I really think this, I think they add a lot of value to a man's life. And they obviously feel good jumping on your dick and sucking your dick and licking your balls. Right? That, that feels good, too. Uh, but um, just having them around, you know, like just doing their thing, making cakes or whatever the hell they do, you know, you know, just just little girl things. And, and and also sometimes women are quite wise, too. You know, they have a different way of looking at things. And I always have deep discussions uh, with any girl that I'm either dating or friends uh, and girls that can't do that. I am really not interested in being with. But I found that a lot of women, they can be quite. Uh, okay, here's one of my pet peeves is, uh, like I'll, I'll have a girl, she's super hot, she's young and, and people will say, oh, she's like an airhead or like that kind of girl. Right. And you know, it's like, I just don't agree. Like, I think it's just like dogs know a lot more language than we think they know. You know, they're smarter than we think. We're just starting to find out cause of YouTube, you can see dogs doing all kinds of smart things. Right. When human beings, they're, they're a lot smarter than we think. Like even if they're not good at reading books or not good at math or they're not good, maybe they have something, there's something else that they're good at. Some, some kind of intuition, right? Some kind of um, uh, understanding of life or something, you know, there's something that they have that uh, is intelligent and it might be not intelligence that most people think about, right? It's like, oh, this is what intelligence is, right? Uh, or this, that's what intelligence is. But it's like, to me, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's so many things. Like, I'll give you an example. There's a Japanese word called uh, mono no oware, aware, right? Mono no aware. So that means it's like an ethereal understanding of the world, essentially. It's, it's a sensitive, it's like a sensitiveness to a concept. Like, I, I'll read here the example here where it says, mono no aware is the pathos of things. 
empathy towards things, sympathy to the eph ephemera, a Japanese term, it's the awareness of impertinence, the transience of things, and both a transient, gentle sadness or wistfulness at their passing, as well as a longer, as a longer, deeper, gentle sadness about this state of, of being the reality of life. So it's something like nostalgia, but it's a different meaning. And you kind of get a feeling of this particular term when you watch old Japanese um, movie or karaoke. Uh, you could kind of get that. It's one of these untranslatable words, but, you know, like a unique word, like uh, schadenfreund or whatever in German. Um, but, you know, like you might meet a woman who, who, who has a very sensitive... You know what I mean? She might look not intelligent to anybody else, but she might have a very sensitive, a sensitiveness to certain concepts or something, right? Something that I can learn, something that I can, I can groove into and I can, I can benefit from. Like the idea that some women have nothing to, to, get, to, to give to the world and they're just stupid, it's just their boobs. It's just the dumbest idea I've ever seen. I really think it's completely stupid. I, I really, I, I, I actually, I think when people say that, like, I just can't respect them. I think the guy doesn't know anything. Like it, he's not looking at, at people right there's 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 so many things that people have to give you know uh, and it might even you know but it could could be a humor or you know whatever the hell it is um but again if your dick and your sorry if your balls are in a vice because you put yourself in a bad situation uh any girl can be quite bad because you're in a vulnerable situation and you don't have control of your life so so you know so 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 the same girl who has empathy and you know She's she's quite sweet when she's with me, but she might be not so sweet when she was with somebody else that doesn't know how to banish her, right? So it is important to improve yourself and to keep keep on the, uh, you know, keep on the positive uh, road, you know? Uh, so there you go. That's about all I can think of this morning and uh, hope that's helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and send this uh, video out. And the one thing I ask is if you, if you use Reddit, uh, please, please put the, either the channel or any, any video that you really like on, on Reddit because uh, there's a lot of people that, uh, that are looking for answers on Reddit. Um, and uh, I don't know where to put it. I'm not, I'm not really good with Reddit. But if you, do, if you do have Reddit and you do post it, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, you can uh, then uh, either send me an email or just put a, put a comment below the video. It's probably the easiest way. Uh, my, my email is just uh, roningmigtow at uh, gmail. But... Uh, Either way, I'd rather, I prefer a, a public comment because everybody can see it and then uh, they'll see where it is too. So either way, thanks so much for being there and thanks so much for listening. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.